Hello all, this is a quick demo of a pick based Peltier controller, uh, replacing an old analog one on mine from uh, that I use on my DSi. Okay, here we've got the display, we've got a, a menu button, we've got an up button, we've got a down button. I don't have it turned on yet because I want to pan around and show you what we have here first. Okay, so there's the, there's the front end display. Uh, here's a little ambient temperature display, uh, just a sensor that's stuck in the heat sink uh, on the back of the DSi. Okay, here's the unit itself. Okay, we've got the uh, power transistor, good for up to 30 plus watts out to the device. We've got an LM317T uh, that uses a variable voltage regulator to drive the base of the uh, 3055. We've got a 7805 regulator. We've got uh, Peltier power out. We've got power in, uh, currently running off of 12 volts from a PC. We've got uh, an op amp here and it's used as a low pass filter that uh, drives the base of the 317T. Uh, the output of the 317T is one and a quarter volts above whatever the adjustment pin coming in is. So the uh, bit bang pulse width modulated uh, signal coming out of the PIC chip over here is uh, smoothed out and fed to the adjustment pin of the 317T. And we've got a thermistor in here coming from the cold finger on the uh, on the Peltier behind the CCD. And we've got another uh, thermistor sitting out here that just uses an ambient temperature detector. Uh, okay, here's the DSI, uh, the modified DSI here. We've got a heat, pretty hefty heat sink on the back of it. We've got a fan on the back of it. Uh, we've got the external display for temperature sensor here. This is the ambient temperature sensor on the board. I just have it stuck in the uh, heat sink here. We've got the nose piece of the DSi. Uh, there's an optical window, just a 1A skylight filter in there. Uh, there's four grams of desiccant inside the housing, and the housing's all sealed up with uh, silicon. Okay, so now we're going to come down here back to the display section. We'll plug in the unit. Now, when the unit starts up, uh, it doesn't have any temperature to seek, so it doesn't drive anything into the base of the uh, 317. Uh, the minimum output voltage of the 317 is one and a quarter volts. The drop across the 3055 tran power transistor is uh, 0.7 volts, so we have a stock voltage of about 0.7 volts. Uh, that's always driving the pelt here. That 0.7 volts is good enough to cool it down by about 3C. So the minimum cooling uh, you can specify is 3C. Um, it'll go way higher than that, 25C, 30C, but you can't go any closer than 3C to current ambient or to the uh, temperature of the heat sink on the back of the pelt here. So let's see what we got here. Uh, we'll plug it in and you'll notice that the The, we've got the uh, sensor reading, so you'll notice it's going to start dropping immediately because we're driving with 0.6 volts on the pelt here. The ambient temperature is 18.5 C. When it first powered up, it found that the uh, cold finger 18.2 C. And so while it's uh, it'll stabilize down, so it's going to stop at about 15.2 C. So while we're going to do some other stuff, we'll tell it to start dropping temperature. So let's just drop our temperature down to. Uh, let's see, 15.2C, so we're talking about 5.2C. So we'll drop it to there. Now, you'll notice the Peltier voltage starts going up. It uh, attempts to reach the final voltage uh, in one degree increments. You, there's a timing value inside the system telling it how many seconds to wait uh, for to try to match a one degree plus T or minus T. Now, that's in Fahrenheit, not in centigrade. So right now it's set for 10 seconds. So it's going to try to change the voltage one degree Fahrenheit every 10 seconds. And so while it's doing that, you'll notice it's going down. The Peltier voltage is staying roughly the same now because it's meeting uh, it's meeting its temperature change requirements. So let's go here, and so we can we can choose the display in Fahrenheit or centigrade. We can. Um, this is the slope. This is that 10 second timing window. I have it set up to do anywhere from five minute, five seconds to 60 seconds for one degree Fahrenheit change. Uh, I currently have it set at 10. Anything past 30 doesn't work very well. It just doesn't have enough uh, PWM resolution to get it to that level. 
Uh, there's 32 steps right now. Uh, this is programmable anywhere from 12, 12 cycles of PWM up to 40 cycles of PWM, and each cycle being one millisecond resolution. So we're set at 32. Okay, and we can also change the display brightness. You know, it's uh, it's a basic thing. Now we'll leave it at 25. Now you can change the display contrast. Uh, you can have the backlight on from anywhere from 1 to 15 minutes or always on. Currently I have it set for always on. All this stuff is remembered across power ons. So we'll go back over here. If you notice, uh, temperature's still going down. Okay. So we're shooting for 5.2. We're at 10.6. Remember we started at around 19. And so some of the other menus that are buried in here. Yeah, long press on the menu key. We'll give you the uh, the current delta temperature. Okay, so it's 4.3 degrees C off of the target temperature. Okay, another long press. We'll show you that the uh, the PW is using four four out of 32 PWM cycles to generate two points or three now five PWM cycles to generate two three volts out to the uh, the Peltier voltage. Okay, and it gives you the duty cycle over here. So. Duty cycle is currently 12%. And so now temperature is still going down. You can see that go down. If you'll notice that the heat sink temperature is going up ever so slightly. There is a fan on the back of the heat sink here. And it's driven off the board to wires just to a standard CPU PC cooling fan. And let's see. So now we're down to 7, 6.9. Gets a little boring watching it. And you notice the Peltier voltage is rising up. Try to meet that. Uh, the farther away you get from ambient, uh, the more it has to drive the Peltier to get to the voltage. Now it'll hunt around a little bit as it gets closer. You notice it's getting closer and closer to the target temperature, the current uh, cold finger temperature here. Okay. And then it'll, it'll uh, attempt to keep the cold finger at the same temperature. Uh, I've seen about a one degree Fahrenheit differential so it, it oscillates a little bit around one degree Fahrenheit once it's once it seeks and finds its way in. So you know it'll drive the Peltier as necessary to maintain that differential. Okay, let's go back over here to There's the ambient temperature of the heat sink is going up. Again, you know, we're driving the pelt here. Okay. Now, it also works in the opposite direction. So, if we increase the temperature by 10 degrees, back up to 15.2, it's going to, uh, it's going to now raise the temperature. And, you know, trying to do one degree Fahrenheit change in the slope number of seconds. So, we're at 10 seconds. So, it should be, should be doing about six, Six Fahrenheit degrees, three C uh, per minute. And you notice the Peltier voltage goes down, allowing the temperature to rise. And that's pretty much it for the uh, for the demo. Uh, this is all in replacement of my old analog, which is shown on my website, and you can see it there. Here's the old analog version. There's the uh, power transistor, a big big version of the LM317T. This is all based off of the original cookbook camera Peltier controller. Um, just using an LM339, two, two sensors, one, one thermistor, which provides the variable voltage to the temperature, another set resist uh, set uh, potentiometer to set the temperature that you want to seek at. So this version, the old analog version, is either on or off. So you're either driving it at full voltage or not. I have it set to adjust the 317T to the voltage you want using a potentiometer, but you know, it just just too much of a pain. I like pushing buttons better, and this is what we end up with. Uh, you notice the temperature slowly rising. Uh, Peltier voltage is down. You know, trying to Try to maintain that level. And that's pretty much it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching.